This is David. I like folding campers. I've had them for a number of years. I've had both types, and I still often prefer the folding camper. It's easier, easier to tow and uh, store, and it gives you more, to me, a more authentic camping experience than being in a tent. Um, but anyway, in this video, what I'm going to do is show you one of the things I don't really like about them, and that's the crank. If you ever cranked one of these up, it's a process. This one, this one takes 67 cranks to get to the top. It has an air conditioner on it, so it's a little bit heavier than the others. So I've come up with, I've been trying to find a way to get it up a little bit easier. Um, and what I've done is, I, 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 did, I like to homemade stuff a little bit. In this case, um, I, I took a 5 8 inch socket, spark plug socket, and drilled a couple grooves in so they match. There's a close up. I cut this perfectly good socket with an ankle grinder. Pretty much match the, uh, the cutout in the uh, Coleman crank. You can get commercial ones like this, and that's what I'm going to do. But for now, that's what I have. So in this video, we're going to take a look at uh, my, my technique for getting this done. I'm going to check what kind of torque it takes, find a half-inch corded drill that'll get the job done. Uh, I camp electric most of the time, so um, I'm not worried about using an electric corded drill rather as opposed to battery-operated. Battery-operated ones can do it too, but you need a, you need a powerhouse. You're going to spend probably $350. Whereas the drill that I'm going to be showing later on is under $100. Okay, thanks for watching. Okay, I've got an a inch torque wrench here. And I want to use this to figure out how much torque is needed to actually raise this roof on here. In the hopes of finding a, a drill strong enough to uh, do that for me. So let's check out the torque, starting with 120. We're going to go ahead and see if we can raise it. And we'll cre keep increasing the torque until it doesn't slip anymore. First, we've got a little bit of slack. There it goes. It's not actually raising. It's not actually raising the roof yet. Okay, we're at one. Yeah, 120. There, slipped. Okay, so we need more torque than that. We're just going to keep raising it. Increase a little bit to 40. So we've outfitted this 9 amp corded drill. We've got a chuck in here. In the chuck we have a, a square drive, 3 8 inch. Okay, so let's put our toolage in here. Got a uh, 6 inch, 3 8 inch extension and my specially made to match the slots. So I just come up with a simple means to tell when the camper is nearly all the way up. Clothes pin, string, and when this little piece of thread here gets up to this level, the top of the box, we're almost all the way up, and I can uh, stop my drill. Okay, you want to use the, the hand grip on the side with this, because this is a strong drill. A lot of people can talk. Four cranks and we're done. That was easy. You need a pretty strong drill. Uh, by comparison, the trip down is a breeze. <laughs> okay, you got to stop and pack it in now. Now I'd recommend finishing up on this end too with the hand crank. Especially with a with a drill like this that you can't adjust the torque on. You don't want to ram it. When you put the socket or your mechanism in the camper, you don't want to ram it up against the end with a drill like this. 